been a long time, long time. We shouldn't have left you, left you without a dope beat. Step two, step two. Welcome back, welcome back to uh, Vector Wednesday. It's Frank again. I miss you guys. It has been a long time. I wanted to come back and make a couple videos. I was working on just practicing on this piece, uh, just trying out some new techniques, trying to simplify my mesh technique. Uh, working on the eye here. Uh, as you see, it's a lot of this image isn't the best quality. Uh, I had a couple of problems with it, but even with this pixelated image, I went through and did a lot of cleaning up on it. And even though I, I don't plan to work on such detailed mesh anymore, I'm still going to give some detail to the face. I'm not going to really work on close-ups anymore because close-ups require a lot of detail. So I want my image to look like the photo but I don't want to put 100 plus hours into it. So the face will look good. And as you see it right here on the left side, you see the eye. It's the original image. You see the pixelation. And you also see it on the right side. But what I'm trying to do is trying to just clean it, clean up my work. But, it, you know, it still look great at 100%. Even when you blow it up, when when you get done with these vectors, even when you blow them up, they look good. They don't just look good at 100%, but the process of building it up takes time. And to get that good quality, you're going to have to put some work into it. So you, you're you going to see me here later. See, right now I'm adding new lines to get just the detail of the eye. And later I'm going to come through and shape around where the iris is and do a little shaping and playing with the colors and changing colors on it just to get the effect I'm going for I want to go for so I mean people want to see just certain things they wanted to see me create detailed mesh so this is just a little quick video to give an idea of what it takes and what goes into it but yeah uh, I'm going to get back on my videos, man. I, I know a couple of people have been waiting for them to come out, but I'm going to get back on it. I I stopped making them for a while. I had to do some other things, work in some other areas outside of vector work. Uh, and one of the lovely viewers got me banned from the AdSense program, so that kind of pissed me off, too. Uh, took away some income, but it's all good. I won't punish everybody else for, for one asshole. Yeah, but right now I'm going through the process of shaping around that iris I talked about earlier. Just trying to fill in colors where the image didn't give me what I was looking for. And I'm, I'm going to do a lot of work on this. I think with my next video, I went into a little more detail showing you basically, I think I finished up this side or, no, I did point to point blending. Point to point blender. So tune in to that video. Have any questions or what you see here, what's going on. See, I'm cleaning up that eye area. But if you have any questions, I did speed this video up also. So this is not how fast I do this. But <laughs> I can do it pretty fast. But this is the end of part one. And part two will be coming in about three seconds. So stay tuned. And you see right here to the left, this is the original image. You see the distortion, the pixelation, and all this stuff because this isn't a quite, this isn't a normal high resolution image I work with, but it was a decent enough image for me to mesh. And you see this side compared to this side. This side I already meshed it. I showed you in the video earlier. And this side I haven't worked on. So I only got one piece on here meshed completely. And it's this section here. And if you watch the video of the earlier stuff I showed showed me working on it, I was having problems around this curved area of the eyeball. Because I did it all on one mesh. I was just trying something different. I'm not really doing a detailed mesh here. I'm just uh, the face, I might have to give a lot of attention to it. But it's a full image with body and all 
the whole works but like I said it's not that much detail and she is clothed somewhat and so I thought it was a pretty cool image uh, I'm gonna do something different with the background work around and play with some things but you see here even with my mesh piece it doesn't look it's not crisp at uh, zoomed in but you see here zoomed out it looks like the photo not putting that much work into it I timed myself on how long it took me to do that part of the eye it took an hour and 30 minutes fairly my clock says 136 now hour and 36 minutes now but I was playing around with some other stuff for like six minutes so this section here I can move it over there it took an hour and 30 minutes and I think I'm gonna connect these two videos so you can see me actually working on it because people claim you know claim that I cheat or whatever but just to let you know bust your bubble I actually do my work put the time in I struggle I teach others uh, whatever I do conference I mean training sessions on Skype which I might start charging people for it because <laughs> it takes a lot of time I mean but if people are willing to take their time to work on things on Skype I will take my time to show you but like I said I might not a normal not a not a big fee for charging but it is my time and so I, I like to help as many people as possible and this wonderful one of the viewers on YouTube uh, clicked on my ads over and over and got me kicked out of AdSense so that's why I've been not making as many videos as of lately. Not that's not the reason, but I have to put in more time uh, doing other things uh, to make up for the income because I did get the ads from the views and all that good stuff. But now I don't because I'm banned from the program because of a viewer's displeasure of me or whatever the case may be. But anyway, so we'll put that back. And I'm going to continue working on the face and I might create another video, pop in and show you guys uh, my progression. But until then, oh, I'm also taking donations. I put the email on the screen. I mean, donations. I mean, because I can make more videos if I'm actually getting some income from it. No pressure. But anyway, I don't ask much of you guys. I just do my work. I try to help as po much as possible. So now I'm asking you to donate a dollar. I don't care. 50 cents. Two pennies. I don't give a crap. But through PayPal. But I put the email, my PayPal email address on the screen. Whatever. All right. Until next time, guys. Peace.